Shelter Pets Rock 2. <laughs> Up. It's Mel Taylor to look at your rock news this week. First of all, Pearl Jam has made available, I think this is very cool, the first track of the upcoming soundtrack to the Cameron Crow documentary, Pearl Jam 20. It traces the group's roots. Pearl Jam recorded actually a cover of the original Mother Love Bone song, Crown of Thorns. Now, what's cool about that is that is the original set of Pearl Jam, really, before Eddie Vedder came in. Unfortunately, one of the guys had passed away in the band from a heroin overdose. They had quit for a while. They regrouped, and that's how you got Pearl Jam. Soundtrack is going to be out on September the 20th. The Reunited Bush has lined up a full slate U.S. tour, all in conjunction with their new CD. It's called The Sea of Memories. That's going to be out September the 13th. Following up a handful of kind of special shows and things like that, they're going to head out with Chevelle and Filter on September 27th in San Diego, which freaking awesome. I love all three of those bands. I'm looking very forward to that show. The band's going to appear on tonight's show with Jay Leno also on September the 22nd, a week after their album comes out. If you're a big fan of Blink-182, well, you get something old, you get something new on the group's upcoming album. Apparently, uh, Tom DeLong says that they've got some songs that are total kind of throwbacks, and then you've also got the sound of prog rock Blink, as they call it. So they think they really have a nice, tremendous, diverse palette. You get to check out the new album, Neighborhoods, out in stores in November. Now, it's pretty big news, I'd say, in the music business when the biggest retailer in America announces, you know what? We are no longer going to sell digital music. Walmart announced it's going to shut down its digital music service, mp3.walmart.com, as of August the 28th. All content in the store going to be disabled, no longer available for download. But the silver lining, I think, here for music lovers like myself and you and artists and labels came in the next sentence, which stated that the sale of physical record music products on Walmart.com as well as they're going to be to Walmart U.S. retail stores and it's going to remain unaffected. So that's the good thing. They will still be selling music, just not in the form of an MP3. The Red Eyed Chili Peppers just surpassed well themselves as the band with the most number one albums in the alternative rock charts. They already had 11 and now with their new song The Adventures of Rain Dance Maggie which just did debut this past week on MTV. It's uh, well number one in the country. Much anticipated album is going to be out on August the 30th. It's called I'm With You. Now the four original members of Black Sabbath may be reunited for an upcoming tour and a brand new studio album. Guitarist Tony Iommi said, according to a journalist, now this is a legend, he said, oh yeah, we've been writing music, Ozzy and I, and we're getting ready to be back in studio. We're excited about going out on tour. Put this out, and then everybody, of course, jumped on it, like, oh my God, Black Sabbath reunion. However, now Tony Iommi's coming out saying, I apologize to all the guys in the band. I had trusted a journalist with some information and kind of took it to its own level. So he says they're not, but a dude very close to the band, a source, if you will, has said that they are in studio. So I don't know. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Those guys started up in 1969, just FYI. ACDC, hope she'll have a little drink on them, maybe two, maybe for myself, a bottle. Uh, they've teamed up with an Australian winery, and they're going to have four custom varieties of wine named after the four of their biggest hits. Back in Black Shiraz, You Shook Me All Night Long, Moscato, Highway to Hell, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Hell's Bells Sauvignon Blanc, which will be out in stores very soon, which I cannot wait to check that out. And continuing with this tradition, I'll be booking really the most heavyweight of awesome musicians, especially when they kick it off. Saturday Night Live has announced Radiohead is going to be the musical guest when they premiere this fall on September 24th. Premiere episode is going to be hosted by actor Alec Baldwin. And for Radiohead, this is going to be their second appearance on SNL. Their first was back like in 2000 when they were promoting the release of their album Kid A. If you want to check out some more music news or you want to find me, you can go to iHeartRadio.com keyword Mel or Mel Taylor at iHeartRadio.com. And that's a look at your rock news this week. Shelter Pets Rock 2. <laughs>